Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to write an article on LinkedIn. When you first logged into your home screen, you will see the opportunity to share your thoughts, which when you click on that is where you create a post under normal circumstances. And these are the things that you can add an image, a video or a document. But we're not going to do that. We're going to click on this bit here, write an article on LinkedIn. When you click on that, it'll open a fresh tab. And this will give you the blank composer section to work from. When you click on here, you can add an image, your headline, and start to write here and add images or a video for visual impact by selecting this button. I've started to prepare one to show you how it all kind of fits in. So here's the image I've chosen for the top section. You can have it taking up the full screen, slightly centered back, and even add a credit and caption to the article. If you change your mind, you just click this one and select a new one. Here's the headline, which is bolder and slightly larger text. And here we start in normal text. And if you take a quick look here, this is where you can get different kinds of sizes for your text. If you want to use the bold italic or underline feature, very much like in an ordinary document for Word, you highlight it and then select which one that you want. If you change your mind, click on it again and it turns back to normal. This quote feature is acquired from this button here. So pop your cursor where you want the quote feature to appear. Click on this. If you change your mind, click on it again. Here's an example of the different sizes. So this is normal, heading two and heading one. In order to get that kind of heading, you can either type, highlight, select the size you want, or literally wherever you decide to type, preset the size that you want the text to be in and that's the size that will appear. Other features that you can use are shown here. So that would be to add an image, video, slides, links or snippets. I'm not going to talk about this one for now. So looking at the image, when you click on that, it's going to ask you to upload from your computer. If you select video, you need to grab a link. So for example, a, a video that's already on YouTube or Vimeo. So if I was going to use this one from YouTube, so I click here, copy that link, pop back over to the document, pop the link in here, and then press enter. And the video will become embedded into your article. So let's have a look at the next example. So you could also add slides. So when you click on here, it's going to ask you to paste the slide link here and press enter to add. So if you have a SlideShare account, so you need to have a SlideShare account before you can do this. So for example, here's one in my SlideShare account, a PowerPoint presentation. You're going to click on the word share. It's going to give you the link, which you then copy, come back over to your document, paste it in here, and then remember to press enter, and the slideshow will become embedded in the article. If you decide to change your mind, just backspace, and it will delete. The final one that you can use is links. Now you can do links in a couple of ways in an article, but if you select this way, it's really quite interesting. So you could add a link to a tweet. So make sure the, this is the lovely Samantha Kelly from Tweeting Goddess. Make sure that the tweet is open full screen. Okay, grab the URL from up here. Come back over to your LinkedIn article. Paste the link and then press enter. Okay, you can do the same thing with a, um, an Instagram post as well. So grabbing something from over here. Awesome Anita Wong. 
come back over to LinkedIn, paste it here, and don't forget to press enter. And the whole Instagram post is embedded into your article. Now, <laughs> you cannot, however, do the same with Facebook. It doesn't, it doesn't let you play with Facebook. So grabbing even a, a video from over on my Facebook page, if we come up here to the dots, grab the link, pop it in here, press enter, security check required. It doesn't want to play. Okay, so you can have a go with all of those things. Um, the other way of using a link, if you wanted to, would be to have a clickable link through. So if, for example, I wanted to insert a clickable bit there, um, you can grab a link, say, from my blog post here, copy that, okay, and then go in there like that and click Apply. Once it's inserted and published, this would then be clickable. The other way to add a blog link is also use this one here and then copy and paste that same link in. Don't forget to press enter and it will give you a full embed of something from a website. The one thing you can't embed though are LinkedIn articles. So it is on auto save, so it's constantly saving your draft, okay, until you're ready to publish. But if you're still not ready to publish and you come away from this screen, um, when you're in this screen, in the posting screen here, you can actually create a new article and have a look at your previous drafts. We even share this uh, as a, in draft format with somebody. But what if you've just arrived back on your profile where do you find your articles, okay? So come over to your profile, so this is your home screen, come and view your profile, okay? Come down to where you see activity, select see all, and here it'll show you where your drafts are. And then you can just click back in to the editing mode and continue editing until such time you're ready to publish. Have a go with all of those things. Any questions, let me know.